despite the Onko archaeological park being one of the most popular, protected, and preserved area in Cambodia, when looked outside the box, there are also many other different magnificent temples scattered all across the district in various provinces far outside the boundary of the Apsara National Authority. Some of these architectural receipts are located in the middle of dense forests, villager farmland, or even remotely isolated area of the country. This perk gives various choice for both tourists and researchers who want to just sightsee or explore deeper about this ancient human settlement that are, more or less, lost in history. When traveling to a hill where the local people usually call Phnom Dai or Phnom Bai, tourists and worshippers alike would definitely encounter a large unfinished statue of a religious figure resting under a shelter yet very close to a soaky wet tropical forest soil along the trail of the mountain. A little further away from the statue, visitors would encounter the building built in the middle of a dense forest. The temple of Phnom Dai is approximately 20 km north of the provincial city of Siem Reap. This temple, while facing east, a typical architectural practice in this area, is built from clay brick and there are laterite stone walls surrounding the perimeter. However, as for the material choice, the gate frame, vertical pillar, and lintel are formed from limestone. Looking at the wall that make up the temple tower, one can see that the integrity of this structure have been compromised due to old age. However, the runes actually have very little chances in taking away the distinguished point of this architectural skill. As we can still see, it's clearly from the wall, the vertical pillar, and the garble. The gap between the individual brick blocks are so flawlessly laid on top of one another that a normal pair of eyes can barely know how the brick were put together by a genuine human hand. Looking at the lintel at the south of the temple, there must have been wooden material inside it. Moreover, judging at the relief, the carving skill of those unknown sculptors on the very aspect of the temple are nothing less than eye-opening, as they are lively and metaphorically dancing on top of the stone. In accordance to the unfinished statue on the side of the temple, and many other sculptures that are kept inside the preservation center, archaeologists believe that this place must be an ancient sculpture center. Sculpture and statue were constructed in this place before the worker delivered those products out to different temples and places in Cambodia. This conclusion was possible based on the geographical aspect of the Phnom Dai temple. This temple is relatively close to the waterway of Siem Reap stream and there is a small water stream in front of this temple as well. This stream is considered to be an old trace of the current Siem Reap stream which move water toward the northern entrance of the Angkotong city. Therefore, the deliverance of these heavy sculptures could be done through the waterway. According to stone inscription label K1222, this temple was built during the 12th century AD in the reach of King Trai Purvetat Waramek between 1165 AD up until 1177 AD. His Majesty greatly honored a great poet, Mathu Rendre, who was very knowledgeable at the time. 
the related family and follower of this amazing poet were allowed to build a temple dedicated to him. This is why the main worshipping figure of this temple, located in the middle, is erected in the shape of Siva Lingam, which also bear his name followed by Daitus Surfic. Currently, Phnom Dai Temple is under the protection of the government of Swai J Commune, Angkotom District, Siem Reap Province. Visitors can get to this temple through the road northwest of the Prakan Temple Wall, cutting across the Lang Dai Commune and Angkotom High School.